Hello dear students, today we will discuss pollution and pollution control process in thermal power plants. Pollution control in coal based thermal power plants will cost money but benefits will over high. A latest study has estimated that it would cost coal fired power plants about 730 to 860 billion to install technology to control toxic emissions of like sulfur oxide, nitrogen oxide and particulate matter from them. Types of pollution control methods adopted in thermal power plants and first one is air pollution control methods and in that electrostatic precipitators Electrostatic precipitators are used for removal of high amounts of organic compounds, debris pollution and toxic and non-toxic emissions and the low NOx burners and the low NOx burners nitrogen oxide emission levels to reduce the nitrogen oxide emission levels. Flue gas stack. Flue gas stack is nothing but it's just like a chimney or a vertical pipe through which combustion uh, product gases called flue gases are exhausted to the outside air dry ash extraction method and to convert a sample ash to ash in chemical analysis that is dry ash extraction water pollution methods also there coal bar oil setting pits ash dikes and disposal systems ash water recycling system effluent treatment plants thermal pollution control, noise pollution control, etc. Now we will see the electrostatic precipitators. The ash left behind after combustion of coal is harvested in high efficiency electrostatic precipitators and particulate emission is controlled well within the stipulated norms. The ash collected in the ESP is disposed to ash ponds in slurry form. Emission standard particulate matter 50 microgram per cubic meter. ETPs are used for, we know that ETPs are used for the removal of high amounts of organic compounds, debris, pollution, toxic and non-toxic materials and pollution etc. from the industrial effluent. Dry ash extraction system. Dry ash much higher utilization potential in ash based products. And land reclamation, for example, land reclamation, structural land filling, road making, cement manufacturing, bricks manufacturing, etc. Coal and oil setting pits. In these pits, coal, dust and oil are removed from the effluents from coal handling plant, coal yard and fuel oil in handling areas before discharge into the effluent treatment plant. Ash water recycling system. The effluent water from the ash pond is circulated back to the power plant for further sluicing to the ash pond. This helps in saving of fresh water requirement for transportation of ash from the plant. Thermal pollution. Cooling towers are provided for cooling the hot condenser cooling water in closed cycle condenser cooling water system. This helps in reduction in thermal pollution and con conservation of fresh water. Condenser outlet cool water and it should not be more than 3 degree intake temperature. And we know that cooling tower is a heat rejection device that rejects waste heat into the atmosphere. And it is normally used to cool water by direct contact between the water and the stream of water. Thermal pollution and the proposed control measures. Clearing of the existing vegetation will kept minimum and only to the required extent. Railway siding water intake facility and water disposal facility will be so rooted that Apart from techno-economic feasibility and other aspects, it will require minimum destruction of vegetation. And we know that roadside plantation will save the existing eco ecological scenario. Green belt development program can also be implemented. 
noise pollution control. Entire plant is so procured or installed that resultant noise levels within the premises remains with the standard limits. Standard for industrial area 70 dB maximum outside the project property. And in the entire plant must be so procured or installed that resultant noise levels within the premises premises remains with the standard limits and the standard for industrial area is 70 dB maximum outside the project property. All the equipment in the power plant will be designed to have a total noise level not exceeding 85 to 90 dB as per the requirements of OSHA occupational safety and health administration that we discussed in the first module. Turbines will be housed in closed buildings which will reduce the noise levels from the turbine generators. Earplex will be provided to the workers and it should not be enforced to use by the workers. Earplugs or earmuffs to help to reduce the noise pollution to some extent.